Hello everyone, welcome back to Mojo's Money. My name is Lacey and today I'm bringing you my cash stuffing for the second paycheck of September 2024. We're almost to the end of September guys. I hope everyone had a successful month. Tell me in the comment section below, the question of the day will be, do you have any plans, uh, special plans for the month of October? Tell me what is going on with you. Today we're going to be stuffing my high and medium priority binders as as I have indicated on my spreadsheet here okay so let's first talk about the spreadsheet before we do anything else of note on here my 10k challenge is getting $200 from this paycheck and everything else is just getting stuffed kind of per usual let's see we had a cash breakdown I had noted that my hundred envelope challenge increased my emergency fund to this amount we haven't had to use any this month yay then Trickster had to get his shots, but we are going to be able to stuff the 25 so we can start building that back up because he's all done with that. We did decrease the remodeling fund. After we have added this 50, that we should have $33 left because we spent $175 for my, uh, for Mr. Mojo's money's new office chair and I spent $32 on a closet organizer. So my closet is now way more organized and I actually went through and got rid of a bunch of stuff and it was super, whew, felt amazing. I felt <laughs> like I can actually look in my closet and find the clothes that I like and that actually fit me. I have to sort through and be like, oh wait, no, this doesn't fit. So let me put it to the side. Oh wait, this doesn't fit. Let me put it to the side. And I don't have to sort through those every single time I get clothes out. I can just grab something because everything that I have fits, right? Okay. So this is what we're stuffing today, $400 total. This $200 towards my 10K challenge will be in my next video. So really we're actually only stuffing 200 on camera today. Let's start with the new car fund. So my 10K challenge is going to be a largely going to my new car. So this, act this fund itself in this envelope is not getting a whole lot, but I'm still just trickling a little bit of money in there so that it gets even more over time. So today it's only getting six bucks. So five, and a six. Not super exciting stuffings uh, this month on this, but whenever we finally undo the 10K challenge, that's gonna be super awesome. Alrighty, so if we stuff $6 today, we that brings us to one, one, two, three, four, five thousand in the bank. 5,120, 25, 30, 31, 32, and 33. 5,133 in this right now. Let me find my pen. And today when I'm filming this, it is the 29th. a fun new little label for this envelope for our train ride. That's our vacation for next year. It's also getting six dollars. Some of our 10k challenge will also be going to this vacation so that's why it's not getting just blue goodles of money but we are put we now have five ten eleven twelve and thirteen dollars in this fund and we have a whole year to stuff this we're not going until next year and we're stuffing it in addition to the 10k challenge as we so we can divide that up as needed this is fully funded so remodel's getting a 50 and then when I do my bill exchange I will take this hundred back and it will repay me for the money that I've spent out of this fund this month the remodel fund is kind of becoming like the household furniture ish fund so we're adding 50 but we're taking out 175 and 32. Ooh, what is that? Minus 207. So 190 plus 50 should be 240 minus 207. 33. 
Okay, good. We were correct in our calculations. We have $33 left in this fund at the time, for the time being, and we will continue to stuff that over time so we can keep making little improvements on our home. Then the Christmas fund is fully funded. I haven't started any Christmas shopping. Ooh, that can be a second question of the day. Have any of you done any Christmas shopping for the month or for the year already? So this is getting 10 and alas, we only have $30 in this going to extra mortgage principal prepayment this month, but I will take that back to the bank whenever I do my bill exchange and send it to the mortgage company and we will do a mortgage update video on how much we've paid off so far this quarter. Not as impressive as other quarters, but we just had other priorities going on this month. I think this is our last little colorable day. Yeah. We get to color in the calendar as our last little bit for veterinary. So it's getting $25 today. We do have to set up our youngest kitty for a spay neuter situation. So that's going to be some money that we're paying out of this fund. But I don't think we're doing that for another couple months. So we have a couple months to continue to stuff this. So let's color this. And these. And that will be our last little coloring. Yay! And we finished this. We started it in February. So cool. <laughs> we got her done in September, even though we actually had to use all the money, but it is what it is. It's there to use, right? So that's why it's called a sinking fund and not just a savings challenge. Okay. There's that money in there. Now we're going back here to phones. I don't have a good label for that, but now that I got, I got these letter stickers to do that train ride label. I can make a phones one. I might do that today. I even have this little extra spare paper. So cool, yeah, I might do that today. So anyways, so phones, I've been stuffing $50 each month for our yearly phone bill, which is due in May and it's 100 or $450, I think. So we now have 150 in there now. Then in the back, we just have our budget nerd co situation, which is our letter books. Don't forget, uh, if you haven't seen my letter books video, go back and check it out. I'm giving away a copy of the letter books challenge to whoever can answer my question in that video. So please go enter that. You still have a few more days. All right, there's my high priority binder. I didn't actually get that much money for being high priority. Then we're going to medium priority binder. This is actually getting significantly more money. Investment property here. So we have these cute little cars and I have these little stickers that I've been putting on the cars. We're putting $10 in here. So we need a blue and a red sticker for these cars. This is a savings challenge by Amanda's Budgets. Everyone has a channel that I featured their savings challenges will be linked below. So there's that one, and then we need a red. Dun, da, da. So next time I only need to do five to finish the challenge. And I can start a new one, but let's go ahead and put that $10 in here. I need to get my black marker out. We had 925 before. This should bring us to 935. So let's add our 10. And we'll go through and count. So we have 500, 600, 700, 800, 900 in the bank. 9, 10, 20, 30, and 5. Awesome. Next is the washer dryer fund. Need my red marker. Oh gosh, it all rubbed off last time. This wasn't this one is supposed to be colored in.
There we go. Okay, so today we're adding $45 to this, which will bring us to $225. So I'm going to color that in. So it can be drawing and not mess up. You can also write this on here. My wet erase markers sometimes wipe off on the other, on the envelopes in here. So let's add the money in and then we'll count it up just to make sure it is actually 20, 40, and five. Gonna add up to the amount that we said it would. So we have 100 already in the bank. 120, 40, 60, 80, 200, 210, 15, 20, and five. It really does, 225 trying to get to 1,350 in this challenge. Then next is electronics, and I've been doing this Jesse C. Envelopes $500 challenge. Today we're doing this seven and this 15 for a total of $22. So we'll color those guys in. And funny enough, the next is a 10 and a 12, so it'll also be $22 next time, there and there. I'm not sure what this will actually add up to because we've taken money out, so let's have, count it up, shall we? Twenty-one and two. So we have 100 in the bank, 120, 40, 60, 80, 85, and 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 198. Wow, we're so close to that 200, but we'll hit it next time. Then electric bikes next month I'm going to get to stuff a bunch of money in here and I will tell you guys more about that next month but today we're just putting six dollars in here we had 520 before so this should put us at 526 500, 510, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Sure does. Then back here in clothing, we have been doing this challenge and we are putting five in here today for that bubble. This is a Jordan, Jordan Budgets challenge. And next time we can do that 10. We're getting to the end of this challenge, which is super exciting. I'm gonna go ahead and color the five. So we had 632 before, we sh that should bring us to 637. Let's count it up just to be sure. So 500 and 600 are already in the bank, 620. 30, 35, 36, 37. It sure does. So I think we actually already have enough now, because it was 620 or something like that, to get Mr. Moto's money, his wardrobe. Woohoo! From Ikea, we're gonna order it and have it shipped to our house. Because the nearest one is like 400 miles away. And the shipping cost is actually quite expensive. I think the actual item was only like 400 something. <laughs> but anyways, okay, so we're gonna move on back here to car maintenance and this is going to be hopefully i'm going to save up to get me some tires i've been using this saving is for the birds scratch off challenge from gentle charm budgets and we're adding 15 from that today because that's what we scratched last time so 
So let's see, that should put us at 265 if we add it to 250. So we have 100, 200 in the bank to 20, 40, 50, 60, and 5. Awesome, 265. We can get one tire <laughs> with what we've got right now. Let me grab my scratching quarter. Let's see what we got next. Next time is a 10. All right, you guys, we finished all of our envelope stuffing for today. Thank you all so much for joining me. Do not forget to like the video. Don't forget to answer one or both of the questions of the day today. And don't forget to tune in for my next video, my 10K challenge. Everybody, have an awesome day. Bye.